this Nigerian Labour Congress led by Joe Ajiro, see him for your screen, this man. Okay, this is your union. Nobody will take on a serious again. Let me the talker. Because I don't understand. He get any month. Well, on another come out, so on a one go strike because of the way which is they go on for this country. On a go come out the next minute, on a go call off the strike. On a go come out now, the next minute, on a go call off the strike. How do we now take you guys serious? Now, on another proposal on that strike, say that two days one strike. Say all the agreements on a side with federal government, they never uh, 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 do anyone. Uh, all those times when we say you they call the strike, they call up off. They never do at that time. Oh. What makes you think they will do it now? What makes you think the federal government will listen to you now and 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 answer to your demand? Now you don't they call on that two-day strike. Eh? And you think anybody will take you serious this time around? I beg, make one see as this Joe Ajero. They tell anybody that cares to listen. Now look, they are embarking on two day strike. After which the strike will become indefinite if federal government does not attend to the demand of the labor union. Of which all of us say federal government no go. He no go assent to that demand. This one I just paparazzi. I beg no I hear Joe Ajero as he takes the talker with the mouth. <laughs> National Executive Council of the Nigerian Labour Congress met this morning and after deliberations on state of the nation and non-implementation of the agreement reached with government, the NEC in session considered the unfortunate state of the, of the nation Put suffering pervading the nation, the general crisis of living, the outrage expressed by majority, and the increased attendant fears of the continued consequences of these policies, and the persistent refusal of the government to implement the tenets of the October Agreement. The next session also took notice of the wise decision of the National Administrative Council of the Congress to demand that the agreement be implemented. To this end, NEC unanimously noted its deep disappointment and condemned the actions of the federal government in refusing to implement the agreements and, and reach the following decisions. That is, stands that it stands on the ratif and ratify the 14-day ultimatum issued to the federal government within which to implement the agreement and address the mountain crisis of survival by Nigerians. That the notice expires on the midnight of Thursday, the 22nd day of February 2024, that if on the expiration Congress is not satisfied with government's compliance with the conditions of the notice, Congress will be at liberty to take action that will compel government to implement the agreement. But next in session declares a two-day national protest on 27th and 28th of February to demonstrate outrage on the mountain hardship and insecurity around the nation. If our demands are not met after the nationwide protests to ensure to issue to each next to issue a seven day notice that will expire on the second day of march 2024 to the federal government after which an indefinite nationwide strike will be sure you don't hear them make i clear you now nothing will still come out from this their threat of two days one strike <laughs> nothing not today. Not today. You when they watch me now, you they take these people serious again. They are not serious. They are a bunch of serious people. Uh -huh. Now one thing where the Joe Ajero talk way interest me. Uh, I won't carry and come and I said I wanna go hear him from his mouth. He talks something about minimum wage. And I could hear something like one million. <laughs> Make a lot talk too much. Help me listen to Joe Ajero and wait till him gas talk as he take touch minimum wage they ask a question say oh god waiting on the propose as minimum wage 
Now he open my to why he gave within he talk and that's way he talk. It makes sense. Help me watch out. If the they talk Nigeria talk, uh, Naira continue to depreciate, one million Naira will be a child's play to the minimum wage. As of today we are talking about about one thousand five hundred, one thousand six hundred. So if it continues that way, one million Naira will be too small for the worker. Does that not make sense? You know, why are we scared when we say pay a worker one million? When those in National Assembly are collecting 16, 17, 30 million. So why are we so discriminatory if you hear one million for a worker? See if somebody can collect 15, 16 million for a job, not even commensurate to the job that the worker is doing. Why can't a worker get one million? In a situation whereby you, have, you need a bag full of <coughs> Naira, to get a handful of goods. So let nobody be scared about that. Unless it is cheap, the demand will not have no end. And the minimum wage, we're going to insist for the review to be annual. Or else if you collect any money and the value of the currency is changing per hour, it will not make any sense. And it will be illogical, you know, to return that amount for the next four or five years. So these are dynamics of the negotiation. And it's good I made this clarification. You, you, you hear him? He said even one million. That, that, he said one million is not too much for a Nigerian worker going back to this economy. It is not too much. Your National Assembly members, how much? 13, 14, 15, 16 million naira. Some of them will collect constitutional allowance. 16 million. They don't go do any constitutional projects. They don't chop up. Eh? What is their work? Nothing. What is the qualification where they use enter there as lawmakers? Oh, level, but people who know if you even get they don't feel better than 36,000, they get degree, they get degree, oh. but people they collect 16 million, 13 million concession allowance. Oh, level, no wonder that they kill themselves inside the uh, national assembly. See, they must not raise the standard oh, that they must leave it as minimum qualification. For elective office to be school sat now what did they did they are the debate but person where go school collect certificates they collect 35,000 that's sisters as minimum wage <laughs> you hear what you as you talk he said with the one million naira it is not too much for nigeria worker eh? and say they could review this minimum wage monthly but what are they me? because the state where would they in now? I say, person go home. Let's even assume that one million. You hold one million naira like, like this for hand. You enter market. You know if you buy anything. Now the state will be there. Let me say they will come talk say minimum wage. Now this amount today, then tomorrow the economy. I be the state of the economy go destabilize that amount. You know go fit benefits any Nigerian worker again. Now why it us now more? She now year yearly. They go to review them yearly. Okay, I go even propose make on the review monthly or even weekly because. Now every day, dollar they add money. Dollar they beat uh, naira every day. Now now one thousand six hundred. So now what did you add to the top of that video? See, minimum wage they go to review uh, yearly as time goes on. And that even if they are proposing for one million naira, it is not too much for the Nigerian worker. But when I say this minimum wage of a matter, Joe Ajero, now something we are supposed to pursue with all on our might and strength. But I don't understand whether they call on for backyard giving us something. All of them go enter inside. When I go come out again, make like make like they will call on for backyard giving us something. When I go enter inside again, I'm beginning to see that this is a constant calling for a uh, 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 one strike. Where they go call on behind now, they will give them money. Say now the way when I use the cash out from this government too. Now wait me at the reason. Make gonna prove us wrong. Uh -huh. Let me see how this other strike when I want gonna want to happen. And what we what will be the outcome? Eh, hey, now this one now we will take. We we'll just we we'll just watch. Not be say we we'll take on a serious. We we'll just the watch on to see how it will take happen and what it will be the outcome. <laughs> now what I say make I na kana ona. Eh, I go say ona later. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why innocent vehicles 
has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury, and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent vehicles, the pride of African roads.